Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. Today we, we are here to discuss about procedure for the formation of company under Indian Company Act 2013. There are three stages. They are promotional stage, registration stage, whereas the next, next one is certification of uh, certificate of incorporation. Whereas in the case of uh, public limited company, we will have certificate of commencement of business. Let's first discuss about promotional stage. Here, we will discuss the types of business that needed to be done. Then we will we should study and determine the economic, technical and legal aspects of executing the business. Whereas after that we will there we will think about the supply of capital and other necessary procedures to start the business. Whereas the next stage is registration stage. Here the MOA and AOA will be signed by the folders of the company. Then the directors of the company should provide a written consent like they are agreeing to be directors and should be filed with the register of company which means ROC. Sorry guys, yeah, ROC, ROC means list of company, I forget here to wrote company. Whereas after that, the notice of address of office should be filed. After that, the declaration should be made by the advocate of high court or supreme court, etc. Whereas this declaration should be filed with the ROC, which means registrar of the company. After that, the certificate of incorporation, which means here the certificate of incorporation is issued when the registrar is satisfied with the documents provided. Whereas in the case of uh, private public limited company, there will be certificate of commencement of business. It is required only for the public company to start doing business. It is not required for private company, private limited company. This is all about the procedure for the formation of a company. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.